okay, just stick. Come on, Dino. Let's check it out. Holy shit. Said to meet at three o'clock. this how you doing kid Dino Lou you got business with the Don nah we just try to talk to that cabbie over there that's all that right yeah what well, is he is the Don's favorite driver so anything you got to say to him you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah, he's gonna wanna hear about this. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? The cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Yeah, hello. Dancista, ricordi? Ah, sì, sì. I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, you like heavy this? lifting. More to make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. I'm grateful for you. So we're grateful for his dough. So we gotta go. Long drive back. Don of Vincenzo. Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interest to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, 
Can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. As long as we're careful, keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, uh, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Be careful, we don't need the attention.